bye bye Pershaw. We have been to and from Pershaw about three or four times now. But that's it now, we're not coming back. What a glorious day it is today. But now we're going to Evesham. We're gonna explore Evesham, we think. It's a lovely spot this. In fact, the whole of this area on the River Avon is particularly special. All of it's been beautiful so far. <laughs> All of it's been beautiful so far. But this particular stretch is particularly beautiful. But we don't know what's further down. Might be even better. You've got to love a buzzard. I love buzzards. This is what we think the journey is going to look like today, all the way to Evesham. We also need to be in Evesham because Zephyr has a vet's appointment. It's time for her annual vaccination. The scenery around here just takes your breath away and you can really see why it inspired William Shakespeare. Over in the distance you can see the beautiful Wood Norton Manor, which is now a hotel, but it became one of the largest broadcasting centres in Europe during World War II. Not only the house, but 12 studios were built around it, all hidden within acres of woodland. Isn't that spectacular? The way that manor is being hugged by the trees around it. I think we've got a lot coming up here as I can see a great big weir all oh, that rhymes it's a good way to wash your feet isn't it so there's a sign when really you come into this lock saying that they run a ferry system further along here and so when we come out of the lock we have to give three blasts of our horn I hope the horn's working. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Right, let's get you on. Ready? I'm filming these boats hoping that one of them belongs to Bob. Bob knocked on my boat recently, he's not being very well and you really inspired me Bob and you bought my book, thank you so much for that as well. And you told me that your boat is moored around here but I cannot for the life of me remember what your boat is called so I'm hoping it's one of these Bob. Coming into the outskirts of Evesham now. Right, we think this is a ferry up ahead, so we're going to... So we've moved it three times. We think this is where the ferry goes. And our horn works. That's really good. If that's not where the ferry is, it probably annoyed everybody in this area by moving our horn three times. But on the map, it does look like it is here. It makes sense for it to be here because there's a caravan park over there. And I think the town is on this side, so if you're going to cross over, it would be a good place to cross, but let's see if we can find the ferry. 
And here it is, the Hampton Ferry. Isn't it exciting? Do you know, a ferry has been here since the 13th century when the Benedictine monks needed to cross the river. But in 1929, the Huxley family took over the management of it and it's still run by family members today. Ernie and Eileen Huxley did more than run the ferry though. They turned this area into the tourist attraction it is today. For campers, anglers and anybody who fancies a cup of tea and some bread and butter pudding. Oh, there he's lowering a rope there, look. Yeah, you can see the rope underneath here. Well, I'm exhausted just watching him do this job. Within seconds of us going through, somebody else needs the ferry and up the rope goes again. Wow, you can tell why you need to bib your horn first. Beautifully made. Let's get Seth. Seth, do you come and sit here? Come and sit here for me and have a photo. It's a bowhead well sculpture, and it's here because an Evesham man, Mr. Stanton, in 1819, sent the jaw bones of a bowhead well to his friend Dr. Cooper of Evesham from an Arctic voyage he was on. The doctor then turned it into an archway in front of his mansion house. So the gates are a whale here. There's a shape of the whale cut into the grass. Here. That's the tail of it. There's the whale over there on this building. But Evesham is actually more well known for its superb fruit and vegetable growing, especially asparagus, locally known as grass. We nipped into Jelly Pickle Jam for afternoon tea where they have dog treats and they are very dog friendly and loads of vegan options as well. So everyone is very well looked after. I mean even the teapots are knitted their very own cardigans. When we got back to our mooring we realised that a big fishing competition was setting up. So we thought we would try and find a wild mooring just outside Evesham, but close enough to get back to so we could take Zephyr for her annual vaccination.
looking at this mooring spot here, I mean, it's in the country park, so it's perfect. I'm just turning the boat around, so we've got the view of the water. This is such an amazing mooring spot, and I'll show you why in a minute. But it's not even marked down in our Pearson's guide as a mooring spot. There's a little steam train here in this country park, so I think we are going to have a little go. So well looked after. Should we go in this one, is there? Look. Okay. Well, there you now. This little railway opened in 2012 and the journey is one mile in length. The journey takes us past the old apple orchards and through the country park and you can stop off at Evesham Vale station for a picnic or to do some shopping if you want because there's a little shopping centre there too. Monty the locomotive is pulling us today, named after Simon de Montford, who was defeated at the Battle of Evesham in 1265. <laughs> Don't worry, Seth. Just about now to go into Evesham to take Zephyr to the vet. She's not going to like it, but we'll get her a treat. But also, there's a refill shop in there so i've got all a whole bag a massive bag of my empty bottles to refill with lovely products so let's have a little explore and let's give zafa her vaccination just gonna explain to zaf zaf thinks that uh, i'm gonna go for a ball walk zaf i've got to take you to the vet so if we have to leave it we're going to the vets yeah I transferred all of Zephyr's records over to the Evesham Vets for Pets, which was really simple. And also they let me transfer the care plan that I pay for and I get Zephyr's vaccinations and her flea and worm treatment, all for a monthly subscription fee, which is much cheaper than if you paid for them as a one-off. Have you been open long? Uh, a year. 
A husband and wife have put everything they have into setting up this beautiful business and it was such a pleasure chatting to the owner and shopping there. When I asked him how well it was going, he said that they had survived their first year and were hoping to eventually make enough money to pay themselves a wage. I've put a link to their website in my description. Were you a good girl at the vets? You were a good girl, weren't you? <laughs> A stripy suit with fine thread hairs is what this caterpillar wears. It's busy at the lock we share on a squirmy scoot commute. A snake-like rope the river wide, head and tail on either side, takes a ferry for a ride, three times the horn we hoot. Thundery clouds shout and shower every little fender flower, in their pistols creatures cower, from the roar they flee. Tiny steam clouds puff and float as Monty engine chuffs each note. I hear it from my narrow boat as I pour a cup of tea and find the poem that I wrote called Oh, the Things You'll See.